So this is going to be a demonstration about the frame generator and inventor. Now, to find the frame generator here, you need to head it, head over to the assembly mode. Um, it's not going to be on the main panel, but we're going to have to look for it in a different panel. Uh, it's a special frame generator panel. Okay, so assembly panel, as you can see, is here. Uh, however, I'm interested in going into here at the top, and I'm going to switch to what they call the frame generator. Okay, so if I click on that, you notice the icons co change completely, and we're ready to go. Before I even attempt to start w using the frame generator, I'm going to recommend that we build uh, a skeleton or a part that is going to act as basis for my particular frame. So uh, I'm going to go back to assembly again. We're going to create a new component. I'm going to call it uh, skeleton. And some of you are familiar with that concept from other softwares. Uh, so we're going to say skeleton. It's a sanded part. We'll hit OK. We'll click OK and now we're going to find a plane to sketch on so let's just say for example I sketch on the X and Y and what I'm going to do is uh, go in and create a rectangle of some sort uh, we'll use the line to connect the corners that line is construction let's go ahead and uh, coincide the middle with the midpoint and uh, we'll go ahead and introduce some numbers here. Now, I'm going to have to use big numbers because this is a frame, right? So well, let's just say 1M, which is 1 meter. Okay, and This gets really big, so let's go in here and use 0.75 meters. And there we go. Or maybe 0.5 meters. That would do it. Good stuff. So now that I'm done and dimensioning, I'm going to exit out of the sketch here. Finish the sketch, and we'll go home. Now I'd like to build the top portion of this particular frame. So we'll head over to the work plane, find ourselves a reference plane. In this case it's going to be the XY. We're going to click and drag at the same time and we'll put that at one meter. Okay. Now one of the best ways to do this is basically clicking on the plane, sketching on it, and I'm going to try to project some of the geometry so that I can reuse it over and over. We're not done yet. I have the top and I have the bottom, but I need to connect them. I need the you know the supports for that particular frame that I'm building. Uh, so let's just go ahead into a 3D sketch instead of a 2D, because it's much easier to connect uh, sketches in 3D than 2D. So if I go to 3D sketch and I go line, and I snap to this corner here, I can snap to this corner and snap to that corner. Done. Restart. Right-click and restart is a nice convenient choice here. I'm going to click again, click on that corner, right-click to restart. I'm going to do this corner with that one. I'm just going to finish the sketch. Uh, what I typically like to do sometimes is reduce that, so let's just uh, head over to the skeleton, double-click that, and let's just make it 0.5 meters because that is pretty high. And we'll hit update. Notice that everything updates as well. So all the frame is connected, is properly linked together. It's exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So I have a couple of things called a skeleton. Now I'm going to return to assembly mode and I'm going to start switching to what we call the frame generator. Now this is fairly new in Inventor. It came like a couple of years ago and uh, it's actually a very useful function. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and start inserting my members, my beams in this case. So it says you must save your assembly, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. Uh, we'll call this the frame. And uh, we'll go ahead and save it off. Uh, yes, of course, to everything. And now we're going to launch our frame generator, and it fails to launch. Now, there's a good reason why that's happening. It's because I haven't logged into uh, my uh, Autodesk Data Management Server. Why? Because all the standard parts in Inventor are stored on a server. And in our case, actually, it's stored, stored on our network. But I'll just go ahead and log in right now. Logging in. Just make it a read only and just type in Goldmine. That's the one we're using right here at the office. Uh, but every company will have a different server, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my uh, server which contains all the standard components. So I'm actually logged in right now. We can test that by going in and inserting the frame again. 
and you'll notice that it launches see it's trying to access the content center and there we are so that's the uh, frame generator insertion box and as you can see we have several standards available to us but we have the ANSI, we have the British we have the German, the Chinese, the international, the Japanese and so on and so forth but um, you'll find that there's a lot of different ones um, so you can go ahead and pick your style so whether you want rectangular or square or even a pipe it's really entirely up to you so if I choose square tubing for that matter and go in here and choose my sizes so let's just say I'm looking for a 3x3 three three with a quarter inch wall you go in here and all you have to do is go ahead and pick these members and the software will start developing them on the fly as you go through like so and as you see I just picked the top one by mistake so there you go so if you'd like to kind of cancel out and start again it will launch it will launch much faster uh, so I'll just go to a smaller beam actually since 3x3 three three is way too big so 2x2 two by, two by 5 sixteenths so this that that and that um, and basically I'll uh, maybe do the tops as well okay and uh, maybe even do these ones here now it does it very roughly so if I go ahead and uh, click OK and allow it to create all these different beams you will notice that it's gonna go through the motions and save off all these uh, members the thing is it's going to come in pretty rough uh, so we have to clean it up afterwards and make it you know work the way we want it okay so there you go so as you can see everything is nicely put together and it's basically connected to that frame that I just made